I think I can see some of the little ones. Now we need to obviously try and get through here. So we're going to go the scenic way around and try and actually get in front of them. I think that's going to be the goal. So you'll just have to put up with me bundu bashing a little bit, driving through the bush. But they're moving fairly quickly. Now I haven't seen any of the adults, it is just the youngsters, so I think the rest of the pride is already quite far ahead. So we'll just duck and dive underneath here. Apologize if I don't look back at you. I just need to concentrate. Sorry, Seb, are you good there? Like me, no thorn trees. They're quite excited. I can just see all these little ears perked up too. Very thick here. We can take a very quick glimpse of them. Now you see, of course, there we're gonna lose them. There's a car, never mind. <laughs> right, let's try this again. They're gonna go down into a drainage line, I think, and this is where we'll have the upper hand. Is that we've got a smaller vehicle, we're able to maneuver quite nimbly through a lot of this stuff. I'm just going to wait for them to pass and then we're going to go we're going to go after them we're not going to stick on the roads okay Sebastian mind your head lift that one up for you good and I'm going to sneak under here lift that over the camera right now woohoo and kahumas you guys are going to take us on a mission aren't you and one very lucky Franklin running in the road too. They're going there, so I'm going to find a gap. We're going to go in here. We ain't a, we're not afraid of a little few trees, eh, Sebastian? Uh -huh. We're in low range already. Let's go. Okay, that's a termite mound. I can't drive over that one. Now, what I want to do is go here and try and get a little bit in front of them. I don't want to get stuck behind them. You have to trust me, I promise. There are actually lions here. Just go over that. And we'll go over it like this. Don't worry, all of these trees are bouncing back up. A lot of them are just bush willows. And a lot of them are pushed over by the elephants too. I'm going over a broken one. Where did they go now? Oh, here they are. Oh, wonderful. Oh, there we go. We'll sit and watch these. So the rest of the pride is quite far ahead. There's the little one. Hello. You're so big, you're not little anymore. Now, the exciting thing is, is like I said, their ears are very much pricked. They don't look too fat. I presume they are hungry. Hungry, hungry lions. And going down into these drainage systems, as we know at this time of the year, is the best thing to do especially when you are looking for something to eat but it is very thick in here for us there's another little one that's just popped out on the other side of that little shrub so we'll have to be quite patient and i'm going to try and keep my distance from them and um, because we are off-roading we're making a bit of noise as i'm sure you would have heard <laughs> so we don't want to disturb them too much give away their chances of catching something. You're not in a hurry, are you? You're taking your time. Looks like one of the young boys. They can't believe how much they've grown. Oh, I'm just gonna take a rest. Oh, this one coming at the back. Is it my favorite little girl? Much smaller than the others. Look at us. Now I believe that my little floppy-eared girl who I said right from the get-go that I didn't think her ear was ever gonna stay floppy it was just sort of swollen. But I believe she's got amber colored eyes, just like amber eyes does. So she's quite easy to tell. Yes, it is. I think mm. it is my favorite little girl. Yes. Now, the reason why she's my favorite little lioness is because she's the feistiest little cat I've ever come across. She would take on those Birmingham boys like you have um, no idea. And she wasn't scared of swatting her siblings either and being one of the youngest too. So I, I really enjoy her feisty personality. But there they are, just resting up now. I think what we can do is let's maybe try and move a bit forward. Let's get closer to where the adults are. They're quite far in front of us. So I just want to zip around here. They look like they are listening to something. Oh, that was a mistake. Ah, just drove. <laughs> ah, hang on, now I can't get my foot on the accelerator because of the thorns. 
Hang on, I'm pulling my earpiece out as well. Rusty turn. Phew, thank goodness we're not on Wendy the tank this afternoon. That would have been disastrous. Okay, so we'll just go over here. There they are. We'll take a view from here. Now I'm just going to pull the thorns out of my leg very quickly as you look at them. But um, Barbara, you're wondering if there's anything in the area for them to hunt? I'm not sure. Um, it's very thick here. There's a lot of bush willows. Quite a bit of uh, monkey orange, silver cluster leaves, long grass. So it's a lot thicker than the areas that we were driving earlier today. So unfortunately the bush is still quite impenetrable with our eyes. For a lion though, and their acute senses, their hearing, their eyesight and their sense of smell. And it's very sheltered in here too, which actually is not going to work to the lion's benefit. They prefer to have a bit of wind so that they could move quicker. It would cover their... Oh, well, it would cover the sound that they'd make moving through the grass and then also uh, the wind would be able to give them a bit of cover. But they were all around here. I'm not sure if all the lionesses are here, all the cubs are here. Obviously, uh, we've only seen three and I've seen two, uh, four cubs, sorry, and two of the adults. But I'm sure the rest are just, yeah, I can see them actually moving up in front. And I think I can see a road too. But it's quite nice. So there could be anything in here. There could be the odd buffalo. There could be kudu. They, actually, the chances of there being more kudu in here and maybe a couple of zebra, wildebeest, you name it. They have actually caught a, a steenbok up here. Do you remember a very long, it feels like such a long time ago, we had that amazing sighting where the Nguhumas, um it wasn't a steenbok, they caught an Nyala, a little Nyala, and right where we are now, and they ate it, which was quite, a, quite amazing. We just got here at the right time too, because we didn't think there were any lions on the property, and they were sneaky. But okay, let's try go forward again, and see if we can actually get a front view of these cats. Ah. Mm, now, which way are we going to go? Let's actually sneak in this gap. Thank you, in reverse. And um, so as we're driving about here, there's a question from Sarah, and that question is how many lions in a pride? It depends. You can have up to just three lionesses to form a pride, but in this particular pride, the Nguhumas consist of five adult lionesses, and then they've got six cubs. Just trying to find them, hopefully get a little gap here. Oh, it's so tricky. They're listening to something, but I don't actually know what they're going for. No, this is not the right spot. If I go back again, there, is that good? Okay, we've got a little gap here. Now, this is what we're going to have to just take for the moment is these little gaps every now and then. But they are in here. The little cub just laying in the grass. And then one of the adults just in front of it. But look how camouflaged oh, they are. Sorry, I'm just looking to see what's going on in the sighting. There's many cars driving around here now. We're going to hold our position because we've been very patient the entire day, waiting to see a cat. Now, Heidi, um, I, I actually cannot even remember your question. <laughs> Sorry, Alice, I got distracted. I was just listening to the game drive radio just for a moment to see what was going on. <laughs> oh, yes, we need a buffalo, says Heidi. Heidi, we most certainly do need a buffalo right now. And they, like I said, there could be the odd dugger boy hanging about here. I still think that the chances of catching a kudu in here is a lot better because every time we drive around on these roads, the antelope that we see most are members of the, uh, the tracker lafords. So the kudu, the nyala, lots of bushback. So maybe we'll get to see one of them. It'd be nice if they could catch a big kudu bull. And they're looking really good at the moment. They're quite muscled up. They're looking lovely. And that would be a, an amazing meal for the lionesses. Uh, not necessarily one that they would eat for days and days like they do when they feed on a buffalo, but definitely enough to keep them on the property for more than 24 hours. And that's exactly what we want. Now, the adults are standing up and staring and listening. So they must have heard something off. It might not be close, it could be in, in the distance, but there's one lioness, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but from where she is, just moving a little bit further west to, to the right of her, and that lioness is now following. Here comes another lioness, so here's the third adult. 
also going off and the cubs are following too they haven't been told to stay though the little ones are getting well they're not even cubs anymore they're sub adults they're getting to that age where they're going to start participating and, and join in on hunts not necessarily uh, the whole stalk and, and the capture of their prey but um, definitely observing close by a little flick of the tail very sassy that one okay now we need to get out of here sebastian this is going to be our next problem i think if we re mm, we're gonna have to do a bit of maneuvering around here i think let's go around this way there's a little gap for us Whoa. come on go rusty go is rusty a girl or a boy car is it a girl <laughs> All cars are girls, says Sebastian. Okay, Rusty's a girl. I'm just trying to think. I don't want to... I'm going to have to go through this little gap here. We're going to squeeze. Suck it in, Sebastian. <laughs> says me. Are you ready to go under this little gap? It's a really small... <laughs> really small gap here, but we'll fit. Nifty little cars. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of maneuvering now. We're gonna try and get out of here and get another view of the lions. It seems as though finally Sir Tumba has woken up.